Hey everyone, welcome back to the Draki series here. This is Jason and welcome back to our beautiful Minecraft survival world right here. And uh, unfortunately I didn't do an episode of this last week as I got quite busy, but I am ready to do another Minecraft survival episode for you guys today. I want to do quite a few things within this episode which should be pretty fun, I think, and it should be pretty cool. But just before I get into the episode right here, I just want to remind you I do lots of different Minecraft content, so please check me out on the channel and subscribe if you like the content that you see. But one of the first things that I wanted to do at the start of this episode right here is something a little fun, something that I don't know is going to work, so it's going to be a bit of a surprise for me as well. Um, I think we uh, left our, um, our leads in this chest over here, but um, in the previous episode we actually managed to get or I showed off our beehives right here. As you can see, we have um, honey production within our Minecraft world. And we also got some llamas as well. We got two llamas um, and we actually um, decorated them with the carpet, as you can see right here, which is pretty awesome. Uh, but within this episode, what I wanted to try is I wanted to try and see if we can get a pet dolphin that's right and uh the reason why i want to do this is that it's, it should be pretty cool and a bit of an experiment i guess and should be fairly okay to do what i'm hoping is to like make like a like a dolphin tank of some kind near here of some kind and i'm hoping to make it like out of glass or something like that, which would be pretty cool. Um, I'm hoping to put it right on the shoreline right here. So one of the first things I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to collect up some sand so that we can actually have a um, materials for our tank right here. All right, everyone, I've managed to get some sand right here. And one thing I have just realized is that this little bit right here that's next to the coast is almost like in between these two bits. So it might be a good idea to actually start trying to put a dolphin in here because what I was thinking is that we could have like we could separate off this bit and then have it as a tank so we could have the tank like right here I guess so we could have um, maybe from here or something like that we could go straight across and then what I then need to do is I need to try and like put glass all the way down that bit right there so that this bit is essentially contained and then we should have a little bit of an enclosure for a dolphin. All right, everyone, I'm now starting to smelt the glass that we actually need. And another thing I remembered as well is that we actually got some blast furnaces from some of the villages that we found in some of the previous episodes right here. So I might as well put these in here as well because we can actually use these for ores that we get later on. I could even move these to the mine later on as well like we could have some blast furnaces in the mine as well because I believe blast furnaces can actually smelt ore twice as fast which is a very very useful thing. Alright everyone we've now got some glass right here. I do not think this will be enough glass but it should be good enough to get a good head start. I'm thinking that we can start to put some of the uh, the framework right here. So maybe we could put the glass so that it's all the way across right here. I'm thinking that this will be enough space, something like that. And then what we then may, might need to do is we might need to put more glass on top because I'm pretty sure if we don't do that, then the dolphin will just jump out of the pen. So we're gonna have to be a little bit careful on how we're going to uh, handle this. The other thing as well is that we'll need a little bit of an opening for the dolphin I guess to go through as well so that is important too.
All right, everyone. I have now actually built the tank wall right here. And all we've got to do now <laughs> is try and persuade a dolphin in it. Now, I don't know how successful that is going to be, but I'm hoping that we can easily bring the dolphin through there. And then once we've actually done that, we can then close it up. Now, we may even be able to get a couple of dolphins in there. It, it's actually a shame that you can't breed dolphins within this game. You can only find dolphins, and I believe dolphins can lead you to treasure and stuff like that. But if we're going to do multiple dolphins, I might as well get my other lead right here from the uh, animal chest. And then once first dawn hits, we will go and try and find one. Alright everyone, it is now first dawn, and now... I hope there are some dolphins somewhere because <laughs> it would be very handy if I could actually find one. Oh wait, I heard one right there. Where is it? Oh, there they, there's one. I found one of them. Um, come on, guy. Come on, guy. Oh, so if I throw an object right here, hopefully it should go for it. Come on, little guy. Where the hell are you? Yeah, there's the there's the block of dirt right there. Come on, follow it, goddammit. Where is it? It looks like... Oh, here it is, right here. Um, are you going to come up to the surface or what? Here it is. Oh, it actually jumped. Goddamn. Come on, it's right there. Come on, you're so there. Oh, I actually got it. I got it. <laughs> Holy hell, I actually got it. No way. Okay, so now I'm in the boat, and is it still attached? Oh yeah, it's still attached. It's still attached under the boat. Oh, that is awesome. Look at that. We've actually managed to get one of them, so that's good. <laughs> now we just need to find another one. Now what I'm hoping is that these leads don't easily break, so I'm going to make sure that uh, <laughs> I don't go too fast right here. Because otherwise the lead will break and I'm going to be very sad if that happens. I honestly didn't think that attaching a lead would actually work. But <laughs> apparently it does. That is, that is awesome. That is awesome. So you can attach a lead to a dolphin in Minecraft. But you cannot attach a lead to a panda. That makes perfect sense. Perfect sense. It would have been handy to have these leads when I tried to get the uh, the turtles that are in the pen over there because they were absolute murder to try and get over there. Oh, here's another one. Here's another one. It's right here. Okay. Um, come over here. Yes, come over here. You're right there. I can see you. God damn. Um, in fact, is there two of them? No. I don't think there is two. I think there's just one here. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the boat because otherwise it's going to get really annoying. The nice thing about having a dolphin on a lead is that I believe we get the uh, the dolphin's grace thing, which allows us to swim quicker and stuff. But we've actually got two here, which is pretty cool. Oh, hello. Where the hell did you come from? Get out of here. Okay. Um, Jesus Christ. Come on, little guy. Let's get you a friend. There we go. <laughs> we managed to get two of them. Oh, God. What the hell is that guy holding? The hell? Oh, wait. No, I'm drowning. Okay. Don't let me hurt my... Dolphins. Let, let's get that. What is that? Jesus Christ, where did that thing go? Um Oh, uh, I don't know I don't know where that thing went. I bet that went right to the bottom of the ocean, didn't it? God damn it. <laughs> that Drent zombie had like some kind of like ammonite or something. But I've just seen another dolphin over there, so that is pretty good. 
We've got plenty of dolphins around the place. Now, what I'm hoping... <laughs> what I'm hoping is that we can actually use the boat and we can actually try and get them into this pen right here. I'm hoping. Because there should be enough to get them through, I think. There should be enough space. I think they are still attached. Yep, they are still attached. So now what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and get this boat to come through here. Did they come inside? Oh yeah, they did come inside. Okay. Um, so now I need to try and keep these guys in somehow. <laughs> uh, let's get the glass right here. Um, what I might do is I might just try and see if they will keep in this area. So if I do that and get rid of the leads, will they actually stay here is the question. Right. Oh, no, wait, no, 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 no. I don't want them to go on the, uh, on the thing. Um, right. Let's get the leads back if I can. Yep, I just got one of them back right there. I need the other one. There we go. Okay, so now we have actually um, done that. So we've got the dolphins now, and I don't know if they're going to be able to jump out. That is the problem. Oh, it just jumped right there. They jump insanely high. Oh my god. <laughs> um, okay, if I build this up, now, what I don't know is I don't know if these dolphins are actually going to stay inside. Now, I think the dolphins only jump in like a straight line. So it's possible that they're going to stay in here. I just don't know. I don't know if they're actually going to stay inside the enclosure. Because what I could do is I could try and add like bits of kelp and stuff and seagrass to make it... Like, a bit more homely, I guess. But um, we will actually need some more sand for that. But uh, let's get the boat back. But yeah, we should be able to get our shears and stuff. And we should be able to add some kelp and seagrass to it. Which will make it a lot better. The only thing I don't know is I don't know if these dolphins are actually going to stay here. Now, just as a precaution... I think what I might do is I might try and name these dolphins because I don't know if they will naturally despawn if I actually um, don't name them. So let's name them right here. I just realized everyone that we do not actually have an anvil in our area yet, which is kind of, uh, kind of funny, but... Um, Let's get ourselves an anvil crafted right here so that we can actually have access to that. I believe it's that. Yep, there we go. We got ourselves an anvil. Um, let's put the anvil outside somewhere, perhaps. I don't know. Let's put it on. Uh, let's put it here for now. And um, what we can actually do is we can actually name um, these name tags right here. So let's say we have all right the first name we're going to go for is bubbles and then the next one i think we'll go for something like i don't know something something badass something uh let's say i don't know nixon let's go for that so we've got bubbles and nixon as the name tags right here. So now what I'm hoping is we can actually use these on the dolphins and then that will make sure that they do not despawn right here. We've got one of them, wait. Did one of them get out? <laughs> uh, one of them has disappeared. God. Damn it, are you serious? We were so close. Uh, let's put this on, please. Aha, there we go. We got uh, bubbles, but unfortunately, it looks like one of the dolphins has managed to 
disappear somehow. It must have jumped over or something, probably. Oh yeah, there's one over there. I wonder if it's that one. <laughs> We're gonna have to try and get the dolphin back. God damn it. If this wall, if this like tank wall is not like um, high enough, I'm gonna have to make it taller, I suppose. But because the dolphins themselves do actually travel quite uh, quite a long way, and they do actually jump quite high, unfortunately. Aha, there it is, right there. I've got you. I've found you. Oh, come on, you're right there. I see you. I see you. Come here. Come here. Oh, you're so close. Come on. There we go. Oh, no. I'm going to drown a bit. Oh, that was close. Okay. What we've now got to try and do is we've got to try and get this dolphin back in here. And you're going to stay here, goddammit. You're going to stay. You hear me? You're going to stay. <laughs> get in here. There we go. Okay, we've got our other dolphin in here as well. So we're going to name this guy Nixon if we can. Come on. Yes, so, so... There we go. Jesus, that took a lot longer than it should have done. <laughs> that took a lot longer than it should have done. Give me my lead back, goddammit. There we go. Right. I am going to have to make this area a lot taller because I have a feeling that the dolphins are just going to very easily jump out. So if I get some more for the tank wall right here, then we should be good, I think. But we've got two dolphin pets right here that should not despawn, which is pretty nice. And we can actually start to... Uh, <laughs> actually start making their little enclosure a bit better. Alright everyone, I've now got some seagrass, I've got some kelp, and I've got some more glass, but it has turned to night time, unfortunately, and there are a bunch of mobs around, which doesn't exactly help things. I really need to light up this area properly, because there's just... All the mobs in the world just end up near the farm and near the house for some reason. It's just really, really dumb and stupid. <laughs> I mean, look at this. Look what is right outside my door right here. We've got two skeletons, a spider. There were three creepers over there at some point. Um, I think there is still a creeper over there, actually. But we need to try and make sure that we can actually... Oh. Bloody hell, look at this zombie train right here. Thank you, skeleton. <laughs> Aha! There we go. Is there still a creeper outside my house? No, there isn't. Thank God. Can I actually sleep now? <laughs> the creeper didn't go inside my house, thankfully. Yep, I can finally sleep. Holy hell, that was annoying. <laughs> All right. That should make things a lot better. Oh, yes. Okay. I can actually build in peace now. <laughs> Alright everyone, what I'm hoping to do is I'm hoping to build up this glass wall as much as I can to uh, essentially stop the dolphins just jumping out whenever they like. That would be very nice indeed because um, I think they must jump like five or so blocks or so. So I'm hoping to make this as high as I can to reduce the chance of them actually jumping it, jumping out, I guess. But uh, all right, there we go. We've actually increased the wall right there. So what I'm now going to do or attempt to do, I should say, is I'm going to try and now make this enclosure a little bit more homely for the dolphins themselves. I'm going to try and put down some sand right here so that we can actually place 
some, you know, some kelp and some seagrass and stuff like that. I believe we need sand in order to do that. Um, let's just try and get rid of much of this as we actually can. Uh, let's put some sand there. And then let's put some sand in the middle right here if we can. Um, get, put some down here. Make sure I don't drown, that would be a good idea. <laughs> um, put some sand, oh no, gonna take damage. Um, put some sand there. All right, everyone, I've now placed down the sand. So now what I'm gonna try and do is I'm gonna try and put down some of this uh, seagrass right here on the sand. And then we've also got some kelp right here. So I'm hoping that we can place some in the enclosure. There we go, that's looking a little better. We can put some uh, massive kelp fronds here to make it a little bit better. Bring that all the way up and bring this all the way up as well. And what else can we do? We can put some seagrass over here. There we go. And we've also got some space for some more kelp because I got a load of kelp off the shoreline right here. Um, right, put some there, put some there. Put some here as well, maybe. There we go. Make sure that they're not all the same length to give a bit of variation. Okay. All right, with the kelp inside, that is looking a lot better. But as you can see, <laughs> I did not think this was actually possible, but we managed to get some uh, pet dolphins right here. We've got Bubbles over here and we've got uh, Nixon. This guy is Nixon over here because I use the the name tags and uh, I guess the uh, the previous US president transformed into a dolphin I mean why not right Minecraft is a an infinite possibility but um, I am going to sleep right here and we can now move on to the next thing that I was going to do. All right, everyone, my next thing on the agenda right here is that we're going to be setting up our enchantment station right here. So I've started making some bookshelves and some books. Luckily, I have some more leather in here, which I've been collecting from the cows over time off camera. But what we're going to do is we're going to obviously use the lever right here so that we can actually get more and more books here. So I'm hoping that's going to be enough. All right, I've now got 12 bookshelves and now I needed to go into the nearby plains biome in order to try and get some more um, lever right here because unfortunately we didn't actually have enough. <laughs> we didn't have enough to get enough books that we needed. And there we go everyone, we've now got the last bookshelf right here. We now have 15 of them exactly. And um, we can get some more in time being. I actually had to get some more leather, so I had to go to the plains biome that's over there <laughs> to get even more because you just need so many uh, like leather and um, reeds in order to actually get this many bookshelves. But... Um, what we can actually do here is that we can actually plonk the enchantment table down. Let's place it here. And then we can then start to place some bookshelves around here. So I need to be careful because we cannot let them break because otherwise that is going to be very, very annoying indeed. So that is 12 altogether, I think. Yep. And then we can then place some around here as well somehow. Um, let's uh, put some here for now, I guess. It's not a complete one, but I'm hoping that should be enough in order to get us the stuff that we actually need. It's not a complete enchanting area, but it should allow us to reach 
the stuff that we need. As you can see, we can reach the level 30 enchantment right here. So what we're going to do is I'm going to craft another diamond pickaxe and we're going to see what we're actually going to get right here. Let's see what we're going to get as our first level 30 enchantment. I'm hoping it's not going to be really, really bad. I'm hoping it's going to be one of the best that you can actually get. But let's have a look here. Um, all right, so I've had my pumpkin pie and we can now see what we're going to get right here. So if I put in, put in free lapis right here, we can access this right here. So it says efficiency four as it. So we could get efficiency four or we could get more. We could even get unbreaking on it, for example, which would be very, very awesome indeed. So let's see what we get. There we go. We've got ourselves our enchanter um, advancement. Oh, we only got efficiency four. I was hoping to get something a lot, lot better than that. <laughs> but um, yeah, we've actually managed to get our first enchantment, which is very, very awesome indeed. I will actually have to set up a mob farm at some point so that we can actually get a lot of experience here. But um, I'm hoping to decorate this and make it a bit better. And um, it should allow us to make a really quite awesome enchanting station right here that's right next to the pond. All right, everyone, that is about it for this episode. We managed to get some dolphin pets and we got a full-on enchantment station right here with the bookshelves and the enchantment table, which is very, very awesome. We've got our first enchanted pickaxe, even though it wasn't the best possible enchantment that we could have got. But uh, I just wanted to see what would be our first one and if we would be lucky or not. <laughs> but we can easily get some more books and actually start doing some enchanted books with this as well. At some point, I will also want to do... Um, you can actually get enchanted books of librarian villagers that you find within the Minecraft world right here. So we might be able to set up some kind of librarian trading station at some point. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy the video, then a like on the video would be very, very much appreciated. And if you want to follow me on Twitter, then my link is in the description. So follow me on Twitter if you want to follow me on social media. And if you want to see more Minecraft survival, Minecraft tutorials, that kind of thing, then be sure to subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell so you stay notified of any new videos. Anyway, guys, hope that you enjoyed the video. Hopefully you have a nice day and I will see you guys next time.